today's topic is mathematical logic okay so in that the first topic is proportion and logical operation what do you mean by proportion means a declarative sentence which is true or it may be a false okay the true statement it may be a true statement or it may be a false statement but not both both cannot happen so it is called as a proportion the sentences which are explanatory interrogative and imperative in nature are not proportion these are not proportion okay when you have a question or explanatory mark okay or some uh, expression form so that and all it cannot be a proportion so now i have given some example we have to identify which is proportion which is not a proportion new delhi is the capital city of india it's a proportion okay it's a true statement it is a true statement it is also a proportion okay me how beautiful is rose it is not proportion question so question and all it is not a proportion Two plus two equal to six. Okay, it is uh, this statement is not true. It is a false statement, but it is a proportion. Take a cup of coffee. It is not a proportion. We are ordering. Take a cup of coffee. I am ordering somebody. So it is not when I order means it is not a. It is like imperative sentence. So it is not a proportion. If it is a true statement, then the number is denoted by one. If it is a false statement, the number is denoted by zero. The proportions are divided into two types: atomic proportion and compound proportion. What do you mean by atomic proportion? Means proportion means the atomic uh, proportion does not uh, does not have any of the logical operation or uh, we we will not have any logic any logical operation like uh, for example that logical operation it's nothing but connectivity we say it is a connectivity so we will not have any connectivity it's called the atomic uh, proportion compound proportion combining one or more atomic statement using connectivities okay so it is called as a compound proportion so next topic is connectivity connectivity is nothing but logical operation this is another name is logical operation connectivities we have five types first is conjunction conjunction the upward symbol second is disjunction the downward symbol negation opposite negation is nothing but opposite conditional proportion like a arrow mark by conditional proportion it is uh, both both way it may be two arrow or it may be a single arrow so depending upon textbook we follow it okay. so these are five logical operation or connecti uh, connectivities okay now one by one i will tell what is the rule when you take it for a truth table so the first rule I'll write what is the each. I will write some rules. So now, conjunction first. I will go with before going with the proportion. always a proportion will be denoted by the small letter for example p q r s t any small letter why only p not a b c any it may be a small letter only okay proportion will be denoted by the small letter for example only only it is a one proportion means it is true false i have only two options okay only one proportion means it is true and false it is one proportion when i have a two proportions for example p q 
Q. Okay. When I have two proportion means how many possibility I can write? Both can be true. One true, one false. Okay. Both false. So I have four possibility of writing. When I have a two proportion value, I have a four possibility for writing. Okay. Same way when I have a three proportion, P, Q, and R. So now how many combination I can write? I will write it and show you. All may be true. One false. It may be in any position. All that we have to fill it. Completed. Yes, completed. Then two false. It may be in any position. Last is all are false. Three, six, seven, eight possibility. Eight possibility here, four possibility here, two possibility. Next will be when four proportions are there. After that, and all nobody will ask, only uh, it may be single proportion, rare case two and three proportion, four proportion is our syllabus. P, Q, R, yes. P, P, Q, R, yes. Four proportions are there. Okay, then we have to use this. Okay. So, what are all the possibility? All are true. Okay. One false. It may be in any position. So, completed. Two false. How many I have completed? One. Two false. Okay, two is false in this position. In this. In this. In this. In this. Any other thing I left? Last and last. <clears throat> okay, now. Two here false two
false to complete everything. 3, 2, 4, 5, 6, 6 option completed. Okay, 2 false. Now 3 false. We have to write 3 false statement. So how it is possible? Again, one more time, any two same three false, three false. This neither pair. completed all our parts one four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen possibility we have how many sixteen possibility we have it okay so completed now conjunction the truth table we have to the truth table, what is the rule for conjunction means, okay? So, now, we are going to take only two possibility. I will tell what is the truth table for a conjunction. So, it is a P, Q. So, P is conjunction on Q, okay? This is the way we have to use the symbol. So, we need to write all the combination. So, when I write all the combination, true, 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 false, false, true, false, false. Okay, all the combination first I have written. So, when it is a conjunction, okay. So, what is the rule for conjunction means, okay. Only when you have both true, true. When you have both true, true. Remaining everything false. So, that is the rule for conjunction to write the truth table. Okay. So, completed. Same way, second case is distinction. The symbol downwards, same, all the possibility first I will write it. P Q, P is distraction to Q. Okay. Now, true, 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 false, false, true, false, false. All the possibility written. What is the distraction rule means? Okay. Only when both are false, false. Remaining everything true. Okay. So, that is your distraction. Third is negation. Third is negation. Okay. Negation. P. Negation P. Okay. If true means false. If false means true. Okay. Negation is nothing but opposite. Okay. So, only two possibility. Okay. That is your negation. Fourth is conditional proportion. So now conditional means P Q. P is condition on Q. Okay. So, I will fill true, 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 false, false, true, false, false. Okay. 
so conditional is nothing but when it is true false okay so when it is true false false remaining everything is true okay so fifth last case is by conditional by conditional proportion both side arrow so what do you have to do means p q p is by condition to q okay when it is true 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 false false true false false so when it is like this what you have to do means y condition means both the way when it is true false false no so, so both the cases when it is true false false and when it is false true also it is false remaining it is true so completed using this phi connectivity only we will be doing the truth table in the next video.